This is one of the great days of your life, I'm guessing. I'm you very emotional. Pro- are you? Well, I just watched Mystic Pizza in the green room. It's yeah. ve- and it's a tearjerker, right? Story about a fishing town, a couple of gals in a pizza shop. Very emotional. Yeah, but Julia Roberts, spectacular. Spect- I mean, it, it might even be Peak Roberts. People want to point to the pretty woman, but I go pre day Mystic Pizza, I think it's Peak Roberts. I do. But you were in soap operas. Yeah. Were you ever, you ever work with somebody that was that beautiful? Um, yeah, that's what we do. And, and, and I'm, it's I'm all talking, beautiful I'm talking people. about the men, the women, everybody. <laughs> the stagehands and soap operas are like nines. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, I worked my father on the show. Victor Kyriakis was oh, played yeah. by John Aniston, who's the real-life father of Jennifer Aniston. So I always felt like we were like brother and sister-in-law in some way. It never worked out that way. I never met her, though. You never met her? Never once. And this was during Pitt era Aniston. So I had this whole plan that I'm going to befriend myself with John Aniston. He's going to invite me over to Thanksgiving, and I'll sit next to Pitt and Aniston. We'll, we're going to be a power cup. Never have, never even. I don't even think he liked me. I forgot my lines one time, and John Aniston was like, get the hell, get the hell off set. Terrible. Soap operas are tough, man. No, they're not. Yes, they are. A lot of memorizing of lines. A lot. Can you do that, Dan? Like, you're a, you're a yeah. television radio. Are you good at memorizing? Yeah. I've seen people die right there on set because they can't remember their line about the love triangle and the amnesia. It's difficult. <laughs> it's six pages. Don't miss the two up or you'll screw up the whole storyline. It's taken six months. I've done that. Okay, what was the strangest storyline of the soap opera? Day? How many days were you? How many years? Three were you? and a half years. Three and a half years on Days of Our Days Lives. Of our lives. Okay. Days of Our Lives. Just got renewed for its 55th season, NBC. Um, at one point, I found myself lying in a hospital bed, my character, Philip. And I was sitting next to Heather Mills McCartney, who's Paul McCartney's wife at the time. Heather Mills McCartney is an amputee. My character had just become an amputee, and we commiserated about what it's like to lose a limb as I sat there in a hospital bed. Now, I lost a limb, mind you, because I went overseas, and there was landmines, and then I came back. And, Dan, I'm not making this up. You can Google it. After my character went through his came to terms with losing the limb, he became a NASCAR driver. I'm not kidding. Philip Kerak became a NASCAR with one leg. Which I don't even know if that's possible with what with the clutch and whatnot. I respect the storyline. I think it's motivational, and I played the hell out of it. But uh, no daytime Emmy, and um, not making that up. Real story. But you did actually <laughs> lose a leg for the role, which I thought you got to commit. That's called committing. <laughs> yes, this is actually a prosthesis right here. It's very cool. It's lifelike at this point. I'm like uh, Richard Kimball is chasing me. That's all I got. But I committed. But, okay, at some point you go, I, I'm not going to act. Yeah. I'm going to go into sports. Yeah. Everybody leaves the soap opera at one point because they're going to be Matt Damon or they're going to be Denzel, and so was I. Three and a half years, I said, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to get my pilot, then I'm going to do movies, and then a couple months later I was broke and begging to be on in an infomercial. I was on one. I was an infomercial with Jose Canseco once, for real, real story. Uh, about selling things to people at home. That was the low point. I said, I got to get out of acting. I really was. And thank God then I got back into sports, which is like running into my old girlfriend. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.